Welcome back into the Sports Report as we take a break and uh, talk to some folks now. You might be shocked to know that there are over 200 lacrosse teams, high school lacrosse teams in the state of Ohio. We're going to add to that number by one here coming up in a couple weeks as Lima Senior begins their lacrosse program. Uh, joining me here tonight, we've got uh, head coach Nate Garlock, uh, junior Alan Madlock, and junior Cole Miracle. Guys, thanks a lot for coming out. Hey, thanks for having us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Coach, I'm going to start with you. So. Uh, talk about kind of what was the process in getting the the team started what what kind of brought all this on so a couple years ago our athletic director John Zell saw he, he saw lacrosse and really kind of fell in love with it and saw that he really thought that in our area especially at Lima Senior it could really grow and have a good opportunity for our kids so we started the process a while ago did a lot of research look, really looking into it and then this fall um, brought it to our school board and they were really happy to be able to vote it in and you know, and then it began trying to start a team, and which is a lot goes into that, um, you know, a lot of it from just getting the equipment to getting uniforms to starting to introduce a sport that a lot of kids had never heard of, had never been introduced to. Um, and so it's been a long process, but we're really happy. We started officially on Monday and things have been going really well. So how do you go about introducing something? Because a, a lot of sports, and I'm sure most people have heard of lacrosse, but at the high school level, we are not too familiar with it. So how, how did that look? How did that look like for you? Did you kind of stand in front of a whole bunch of guys and go, all right, which one of y'all want to play lacrosse? How did that look for you? It kind of actually went just like that. <laughs> um, it was, uh, we had a meeting um, and just said, hey, if anybody's interested, ever heard of it, want to know more about it, want to learn about it. You know, um, we had a really good turnout. We had almost 70 kids show up to that interest meeting, um, guys and girls. And from there, it just started. We said, okay, look, we're going to start the conditioning and we'll get you the equipment, we'll get you the sticks, and you know, we'll just start introducing you to this and kind of seeing where we go from there. And it's just grown from there. And you know, it seems like every day we have one or two new kids coming out who have heard about it, heard the other guys talking about it, really starting to really enjoy what they're doing and, and learning a new sport. And you know, we're all learning, it's, it's brand new to everybody. Yeah. So it's one of those unique things where you don't. It, kids don't have to feel like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, none of us know what we're doing. Um, and so it's been fun because we've been able to teach and the kids as they get along and farther along and they are learning more and they're just getting more excited. And you can see that, you know, the more that they learn and the more comfortable they get, just the more they're falling in love with the sport. And in many ways, to a certain extent, you've kind of learned right along with them. Is, is that accurate? Uh, absolutely. You know, this isn't a sport that, um, you know, I freely admit, you know, I wasn't an expert in, I, I didn't know a lot about. I used to live um, in Virginia and I kind of got introduced to the sport there and really enjoyed watching it. And when I knew that we were coming, when it was coming to Lima Senior, I really wanted to be involved somehow. You know, I've been a track guy. I've been a head track coach for, you know, 10 years and, and that's what I knew. And I thought I could help out with conditioning and just learn this sport. But, you know, through, um, series of events and uh, I feel very fortunate to be the head coach and I love the kids that come out and I love the energy and these kids have just as much passion as we do. For someone that may be watching this and just has no idea what lacrosse is or, or, or how what that has to do with sports in general what it seems like what are some of the skill sets you mentioned track what are some other skill sets that maybe you borrow from other sports that come into play when you're uh, on lacrosse? So it's one of the sports where it's actually really unique. We pull from a lot of different sports. There's stuff from basketball, um, as far as the defense goes, and you know, you know, pick and rolls and sliding, and, and kind of the defensive stances that we take. Um, you can do different things. You know, soccer. You know, it's played full length. There's a lot of running. It takes a lot of endurance. Um, there's that aspect of football in it because it is contact. Same with hockey. So there is really a lot of other sports that go into lacrosse and that you can just pull from all of those things. So it, you don't have to have a specific skill set. It's one of those things where if you have an interest in anything, we can adapt it to what we do. So how have other coaches responded to this that, that may have kids in other sports that have come on and played over class? Has it been, has it been positive? Has it been, has it been negative? What has been no, the response? I, it's been positive from pretty much everybody. Um, you know, we've heard a lot of good things. I think other coaches enjoy it because their, their athletes are going to come out and now they're doing something in the spring and maybe before they weren't, they're being active, the conditioning's coming up, it gets the football guys ready for, you know, summer ball and yeah. it keeps the soccer players ready to go as well and it just feeds into a lot of other things that they do. So the coaches have all been, um, you know, very excited about it. Everybody's really embraced it, especially at Lima Senior and we hope moving forward as more people are exposed to it, we start getting a lot of the people in the community interested in it, get a lot of people out and we just really want to grow the sport. So, Cole, let me talk to you for a second. Talk about how you got involved into it. Like when you saw, did you see Nate uh, talk about it? And was there just a, 
lacrosse-shaped hole in your life that you wanted to fill, and this was like a perfect match for you? How how did you get involved with this? So my brother played lacrosse in college for Finley, okay. and so that really exposed me to the sport. And watching him play, it really, you know, it was a sport that I really wanted to play. And you know, for a few years, we heard some rumors that lacrosse was coming to Lima Senior, you know, floating in the air. And when we finally got a team, it was just something that I had to hop on. You know, the opportunity I had to take. And it, just from there, it's just an amazing. Alan, can I ask you the same question? What, what got you involved in the, in the team? Uh, I seen, like, I was watching YouTube videos, and I liked it. And then, like, I heard about it, and then I joined. And it was like, I love it now. Awesome, awesome. What's been the reaction, and I'll go back to you for a second, Cole. What's been the reaction from your friends? Like, you've told uh, some of your friends, hey, I'm going to be going out for lacrosse. And what was their reaction to that? It's funny that you ask because I've been asking a bunch of football players from our school and they all say they're scared. Like they're scared, <laughs> scared of the contact and I, that confused me. I was like, you, you play football but you're scared to get hit by a stick. And uh, it was just kind of funny, it was just stuff like that. But everybody in the school seems like they want to try it and you know, like, like our coach said, more and more people are coming out and trying and everybody that tries it said they loved it. So, I mean, it's been honestly amazing how the schools come together. Now how much, Alan, I'll go to you with this one, so how much um, like practice, conditioning, like how much team kind of building activities have you guys been able to do yet or has that not really ramped up yet? Uh, we actually did a lot like we work together with passing and drills. We like do drills together and run together and then we communicate with each other more. So like we're just bonding a lot. And how long has that been going on? It's been uh, for the last few months? Or? Yeah, for a few months now. For a few months? All right, awesome. Yeah, I give, I give Alan a lot of credit. Um, you know, a lot of these guys had other sports that they were involved in, a lot of things that they were doing, but we did have a core group of guys who started coming out December 1st, conditioning two days a week, meeting in the weight room 6 a.m., a couple days a week as well. And, and Alan's been one of the leaders. He's really held that together as we've been waiting for the rest of our team to join. So um, him and, and Cole, Cole brings a leadership to our team that, you know, I just I couldn't ask more for. Uh, first match on your schedule is Wenton Woods coming up on the 4th of March, I believe. What, um, what, what do you look for from the Warriors? So it's, it's going to be a learning process for us. It, it is the first time that any of our guys are going to be out there and, and playing. Um, we're playing a scrimmage, so it's going to be Wenton Woods. We also play Miamisburg that okay. day. Um, and we're really just going out there to let them see the things that they're doing to translate it into a, a real game feel and let them see where they're at. It'll be the first time that they're having somebody line up across for them and, and saying, hey, let's get after it. So we're just trying to build from there. You know, we'll only have about two weeks of practice under our belt. And, you know, this is brand new to a lot of people. So it'd be a nice spot for us, though, to judge where we're at and where we need to get to before the regular season starts when we go to Perrysburg on March 20th. So March 20th, when your season starts, um, this terrific and you're taking on uh, Perrysburg. Has it been difficult to get uh, teams on the schedule, or has that been a pretty easy process? Um, it's been hit and miss. Uh, you know, it hasn't been difficult for any reason other than, you know, a lot of people fill their schedule out way ahead of time. Um, and there, are, there aren't a lot of teams, so teams do have to kind of fill things out and share schedule time. With us being the only team um, in our area, we're, we got to travel. So, you know, we're going to Perrysburg, we're going to Dayton, we're going to Cincinnati, we're going to Toledo. Um, so we're getting out there. We're going to see a lot of different teams that we usually wouldn't see. Um, and we're excited. We're going to have five home games as well. And we're going to be doing a lot of great things here. Cole's actually starting a great program for honorary captain at all of our home games. We're going to be honoring veterans during that time. And we're really excited. We want it to be an atmosphere. We really want a lot of people to come out watch these kids play. They've been working really hard and just grow this sport and expose a lot of people to it. Head coach Nate Garlock, Alan Madlock, Cole Miracle guys, thanks so much and good luck this season. Thank, Thank you. you. When we come back, we'll